Good morning, everyone. It's Jindy Burwell. It is, this has been recorded fairly early on Good Friday before we gather in person at 9 a.m. It will be up on YouTube probably late this afternoon. So good morning, even if it's later. This week, we've been journeying through Holy Week with this book. And of course, today being Good Friday, um, today's the day that Jesus is killed. And so that is what we are remembering and thinking about today. There is a couple of things I think we need to go into today thinking about. So here we go. Those of us that have been exposed to the kind of Christian narrative in the 21st century to some degree or another um, have probably already formed some views about what the cross means. And the most familiar current understanding of that is, is kind of known as substitutionary sacrifice. So Jesus died for the sins of the world. He substituted himself because someone needed to pay the price and it was Jesus. We need to bear in mind that is not the only way to view what happens today on the cross with Jesus being killed. And it's not even the original or the earliest or orthodox, maybe, view. This concept of substitution for the sins of the world, not because of the sins of the world, because people killed him. This concept that we have now, a days was not really fully developed until a book written by the then Archbishop of Canterbury in 1097, the year 1097. Over a thousand years after Jesus was killed, roughly a thousand years after Mark was written, Mark was written 30 to 40 years after Jesus was killed. There was already differing views and differing understandings by the time Mark was written. And that may be one of the reasons Mark was written to kind of say, no, no, this is what happened. Over a thousand years before this quite cold substitution view became the the kind of norm um, for various reasons but just bear in mind it is not the only way and it may not be the right way the correct way the fullness of the way that we can understand today. Thus, today we approach Mark's telling of the story. We need to be aware in which ways our preconceived ideas might get in the way of hearing Mark afresh. Borg and Crossan from the book argue quite strongly that substitutionary, sacrificial understanding of Jesus' death is not there at all in Mark's telling. Not even tiny little glimpses of it that developed later into that version. The other thing to hold on to is we often view today's story, as I alluded to yesterday, as this kind of composite from all the Gospels and all the things, you know, over the last 2,000 years have added to the story. And, and that probably adds something to our, to our understanding. 
But this year we're looking at what was first recorded, what was actually in Mark, and it wasn't seven sayings of Jesus from the cross. So there might be a lot from the story that you think you know um, that aren't actually here today. And so again, we just need to hold that loosely. Maybe adding those things adds to the event and makes it good, makes it better for us to understand. Maybe they don't. And maybe it distorts our understanding of what actually took place then so long ago and manifests in so many ways to this very day. Okay, this is not just a story about something that happened to someone 2,000 years ago. Okay, it, it plays out over and over again. And as adults in the faith, as grown-ups, as, as fully formed human beings, we all have to make decisions for ourselves as to what we're going to believe and how we are then going to act because of those beliefs. It's not my responsibility to, to do that for you or to tell you what that should be. We all will form our own views. Maybe people help. <laughs> and we're all responsible for how we live as a result of that. So for today, Let's hear afresh the telling of the death of Jesus, the killing of Jesus, as told by Mark. Now, if you want to read it, I'm not going to read it here now, but if you want to read it, it is Mark 15. Um, the entire chapter, Mark 15, will tell you about today. And so I leave that to you as homework, maybe. We will be following a service sheet, a liturgy today. And um, I just want to read the call to worship. So our opening prayer today. Let us remember how the sky went dark. Let us remember how his mother was there. Let us remember how people mocked him. Let us remember how his friends fled. Let us remember how in the midst of all of that, Jesus still chose love. Let us worship holy God. God bless um, even those that gather with us today. There is no dismissal today. Today, you know, follows on to tomorrow and to Easter Sunday. I will do something really brief tomorrow. Um, Holy Saturday is a key part of this story. But for today, maybe we remember afresh. Jesus being killed and why that happened and maybe opening room for it to possibly not be the story we have always heard or we heard, you know, when we were young. Some of what we believe only came into being a thousand years after the event. So I invite us to look afresh at the first recording of the narrative that happened 2,000 odd years ago, nearly. Take care. If you're going places over this Easter weekend, please be safe, drive safely. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. See ya.